Mechanical utility construction system is mostly associated with electric-powered machines, used for vertical, diagonal, and horizontal transportation of passengers and goods in a building, which is identified as conveyor. Therefore, in this video you will learn Kinds of conveyor, types of elevators, types of elevator mechanism, types of hydraulic elevator, types of traction elevator, components of hydraulic and traction type elevator. Kinds of elevator car opening, elevator car components, hoistway components, kinds of elevator door, hydraulic drive components, hydraulic power unit component, kinds of safety system. Components of pneumatic elevator, components of an escalator, parts of a balustrade, parts of a truss, parts of a step, and types of mechanical parking. Mechanical Utility Construction System Kinds of Conveyor 1. Elevator, an enclosed vertical passenger conveyance used in a building that transfers users from several floor levels. 2. Escalator, a continuous open diagonal passenger conveyance used in a building that transfers users from two adjacent floor levels. 3. Travelator, a continuous open horizontal passenger conveyance used in a building that transfers users from one place to the other on the same floor level. 4. Mechanical parking, an open vertical and horizontal vehicular conveyor used in a compact parking building that transfers and temporarily stores automobiles. Types of elevators 1. Passenger, common type of an elevator that conveys people in different floor levels, used on most types of buildings. 2. Service, larger than a passenger elevator, that conveys people and large things in different floor levels, required to be used on hospitals. 3. Freight, largest type of an elevator, that conveys heavy loads in different floor levels, used in industrial buildings. 4. Dumb, smallest type of an elevator, that conveys light loads in different floor levels, commonly used in restaurants. 5. Paternoster, a pair of smaller passenger elevator, that conveys few people on all floor levels on a constant loop of up and down, in a slowly non-stop chain of open cabin. Used in old German buildings. Types of elevator mechanism. 1. Hydraulic elevator, used for manufacturing warehouses, in which the car is pushed up by a pressurized liquid in a cylindrical piston. 2. Traction elevator, used for mid-rise to high-rise buildings, in which the car is pulled by a suspended steel ropes that is attached to an electric motor located above the hoistway. 3. Pneumatic elevator, used in residential buildings, in which the car is pushed up by pressurized air. 4. Climbing elevator, used in construction sites, in which it can ascend itself using own propulsion. Types of hydraulic elevator. 1. Hold, has a single telescopic piston on the middle bottom part of the car, that extends and retracts back into a sheave that is located below the elevator pit. 2. Non-telescopic, has a pair of single-stage telescopic piston located on the sides of the car, anchored at the base that doesn't require a sheave below the elevator pit. Can elevate the car at an approximately 6 meters. 3. Telescopic has a pair of more than one stage telescopic piston located on the sides of the car, anchored at the base that doesn't require a sheave below the elevator pit. Can elevate the car at an approximately 15 meters. 4. Roped hydraulic, has a pair of more than one stage telescopic piston located on the sides of the car, anchored at the base that doesn't require a sheave below the elevator pit and combined with a steel rope that can elevate the car at an approximately 18 meters. Types of Traction Elevator 1. Geared, it has a gearbox that is attached to the motor drive that is able to run the elevator with speed up to 2.50 meters per second. 2. Gearless, wheels are directly attached to the motor drive that is able to run the elevator with speed up to 10.0 meters per second. 3. Machine room less, has no machine room above the elevator shaft. Components of hydraulic and traction type elevator. 1. 
car, a steel cage cabin that carries and transfers both live and dead loads on different floor levels of a building. 2. Hoistway, an enclosed shaft. That is open vertically on all floor levels extending from the elevator pit up to the soffit of the overhead machine room wherein the elevator car travels up and down. 3. Machine or drive system, a set of mechanical devices that is used for lifting the car. For traction type elevator it is located on the top of an elevator shaft. However, for hydraulic machine rooms it is located at an approximately 15 to 30 meters away from the lowest level of the building. 4. Control system, regulates the car weight sensor, floor level direction, and door opening or closing. 5. Safety system, consisting of mechanical and electrical component of the car, that prohibits accidents. 6. Elevator pit, the space between the lowest floor level landing, and the bottom of the elevator hoistway. Kinds of elevator car opening. 1. Normal, has a single opening, facing one direction. 2. Open through, has two opposite opening, facing front and rear direction. 3. Diagonal, has two adjacent opening, facing front and side direction. Elevator car components. 1. Elevator cabin, interior enclosure of the car. 2. Car operating panel, is a set of command buttons that are used to operate the elevator, specifically the assigning of floor level destination and the open or closure of the elevator doors. 3. Car door, cabin access that protects the passengers from the hoistway components. 4. Trap door, located on the car ceiling that is used for emergency purposes. 5. Car sling, the outer metal framework of the car that is attached to the guide rails and suspension cables or pistons. 6. Guide shoes, a roller or sliding guide, built within the car sling, that is directly in contact with the guide rails to ensure the stable motion of the car. Hoistway components. 1. Guide rails, are steel tracks that are often attached to the sides of the shaft that directs the car and counterweight as it moves back and forth. 2. Counterweight, a suspended guided weight that balances the dead load of the car and its 40% allowable carrying capacity used on traction type elevators. 3. Suspension cables, are steel wire rope that holds both the car and counterweight for traction type elevators. 4. Elevator doors, an electric motorized door that serves as an access to the elevator shaft. Kinds of elevator doors. 1. Automatic, two steel door panel that opens sideways in both direction from the center, on a single steel track. 2. Telescopic, two steel door panel that opens sideways in one direction from one end, on two steel tracks. 3. Collapsible gate an interconnected solid steel lattice bars that open sideways in one direction from one end, on a single steel track that permits visibility of the hoistway. For a swing, a single panel door that is manually operated and is consisted of another single slide car door that is power operated. Hydraulic drive components. 1. Pistons a hollow cylindrical steel pipe that is filled with a pressurized fluid in order to lift a hydraulic elevator car. 2. Hydraulic power unit, a machine that provides and takes away the pressurized fluid that is needed to operate the piston. Hydraulic power unit component. 1. Tank, a sealed liquid container. 2. Motor pump, transfers the liquid from tank to the piston. 3. Valve, controls the transfer of liquid from the piston and back to the tank. Kinds of safety system. 1. Hoistway door interlock, devices that are attached to each elevator hoistway doors to prevent unwanted opening. 2. Door protective device, a motion sensor that automatically opens the door when it is in the act of closing. 3. Apron, a thick plain metal sheet attached at the bottom of the car useful when the elevator doors open and the car stopped above the intended floor level landing. 
4. Machine brake, triggered to prevent the car from falling in case of slack cables and overspeed. 5. Overspeed governor, a round disc regulating the car overspeed located at the machine room above the hoistway. 6. Safety brake, a security brake located at the bottom of car, that clamps itself to the guide rails when triggered by a lever that is connected to the overspeed governor. 7. Buffers, an emergency machinery that lessens the impact of an elevator car when it descends more than its normal speed limit. Such a spring buffer that is used for elevators having a speed limit of 1 meter per second, and oil buffer that is used for elevators having a speed limit of more than 1 meter per second. Components of pneumatic elevator. 1. Exterior assembly, a cylindrical structural frame with transparent covering. 2. Conveyor carriage, a transparent cylindrical cabin with a vacuum sealed ceiling that conveys a user on a different floor level. 3. Suction assembly, located on the top of the cylinder, containing vacuum pump, valves, and control board. Components of an escalator 1. Balustrade, the side of an escalator extending above the steps. 2. Truss, an assembly of structural steel that supports the weight and load of an escalator. 3. Steps, the moving platform on which escalator passengers ride. Parts of a balustrade. 1. Moving handrail, a hand rest that moves along on the top of a balustrade that is synchronized with the steps. 2. Interior panel, the major panel portion of the balustrade, located immediately below the moving handrails, made of glass or stainless. 3. Deck board, a decorative capping member of the balustrade of an escalator, which continues in the traveling direction. 4. Skirt guard, the lowest panel within the balustrade, located immediately below the inner deck and adjacent to the steps at a slight gap from the steps. Parts of a truss. 1. Control panel, controls the operation and supplies electric power to the drive unit. 2. Drive unit a unit that drives the escalator, comprised of electric motor, decelerator, electromagnetic brake, V-belt, sprocket, and other components. 3. Drive chain, a chain that transmits the drive unit's power to the sprocket. 4. Sprocket, drive wheels installed at the top and bottom, to drive the steps. 5. Main track, a rail to guide the driving rollers. 6. Trailing track, a rail to guide the trailing rollers. 7. Moving handrail drive unit, a device that indirectly drives the moving handrail, at the same speed as the steps, via the moving handrail drive chain. Parts of a step. 1. Step tread, the part of the step where a passenger stands. 2. Riser, the upright part of a step. 3. Step demarcation line a yellow line along both sides of a step to define the proper standing area. 4. Driving roller or trailing roller, each step is linked to the step chains, via the step shaft and the wheels. The front wheel is called the driving roller and the rear wheel is called the trailing roller. 5. Step chain, a chain, located on both sides of an escalator, connecting the steps and driven by the step chain sprocket. Types of mechanical parking 1. Pallet parking, consisting of several automated horizontal steel plate that transfers the vehicle from a specified parking space on a single floor level. 2. Lift parking, consisting of several structural steel columns and with one horizontal steel plate that moves up and down. Enables double vertical parking space on a single area. Bottom space should be evacuated, to access vehicle placed on the upper platform. Which can be placed side by side with other units. 3. Dependent stacked parking, consisting of several structural steel columns, and with two horizontal steel plate that moves up and down. Enables three vertical parking space on a single area. Bottom space should be evacuated, to access vehicle placed on the upper platforms. Which can be placed side by side with other units. 
4. Independent stacked parking, consisting of 3 to 5 levels of parallel linear parking space, with a rotating car lift moving sideways on the center of its longitudinal axis. Accompanied by a single automated pallet that transfers the vehicle from the lift to the specified parking space back and forth. Allowing a free access on all automobiles. 5. Puzzle parking, consisting of 3 to 5 levels of linear structural steel parking space, with individual automated pallet that moves the vehicle horizontally and vertically. Allowing a free access on all automobiles. 6. Roll parking, consisting of 3 to 5 levels of parallel linear parking space, with a car lift and individual automated pallet per floor level. That transfers the vehicle from the lift to the specified parking space back and forth. Allowing a free access on all automobiles. 7. Tower parking, consisting of more than 8 levels of vertical structural steel parking space, with a rotating car lift moving sideways. Accompanied by an individual automated pallet that transfers the vehicle from the lift to the specified parking space back and forth. Allowing a free access on all automobiles. 8. Rotating parking, a vertical structural steel parking, consisting of more or less 16 parking pallets attached to a large revolving steel chain. Allowing an easy access on all automobiles. For heating, venting, and air conditioning utility system, watch the next video on College of Architecture channel.